more than 100 world leaders came for the biggest ever summit on global warming. Now is the moment uh, to act in common cause. History may not offer us a better chance. The UN is trying to jumpstart stalled negotiations for a new treaty to replace the failed Kyoto Accord. The threat from climate change is serious, it is urgent, and it is growing. Stephen Harper was a no-show, opting for a meet and greet with New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, showing up only for the leader's dinner. I don't know why he has time to attend a fancy dinner and doesn't have time to go to the floor of the General Assembly and put Canada's position and represent us. The danger posed by climate change cannot be denied. Our responsibility to meet it must not be deferred. If we continue down our current course, every member of this assembly will see irreversible changes within their borders. And we will seize every opportunity for progress to address this threat in a cooperative effort with the entire world. people of the world want this future for their children. And that is why we must champion those principles which ensure that governments reflect the will of the people. The people of the world want change. They will not long tolerate those who are on the wrong side of history. 